Nowadays, it seems like everything's about video, moving images, and it doesn't seem like there's as much emphasis on just still photography. Today, I wanted to show you quickly you can add a little bit of flair to your still photographs and make them pop a little bit with the introduction of GIFs on top of photos. I've posted this sort of style on my Instagram a few times. My Instagram is at Gakuyen, and I'll go ahead and show them real quick here. Get it? Text and message, I don't know the number. Flexing on these niggas, every bone and muscle. But with the addition of a GIF as well as music, this can really add another dimension to your still photographs or your Photoshop creations that can give a lot of interest to your subjects and kind of highlight certain aspects of your photos. Real quickly before I jump right into this, please go ahead and like this video that helps me the most and also comment and please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers, that is my current goal. Any help, I'd really appreciate it. All right, let me hop right in. So for this tutorial, you're gonna need two things. First of all, you're gonna need your blank canvas. And for me, I used a collage that I had gone ahead and made previously. I had left a space in the bottom left for where I wanna put my animated GIF. I just had a GIF right here look cool. Um, I had a couple GIFs in mind. The place that I get a lot of my animated GIFs, specifically, they're mostly anime ones, I get them from Tumblr. And so I'm just on Tumblr, search around. When you find one that's cool, you go ahead and right click save save the image to your desktop wherever you need to access it later and you just have that saved somewhere. All right, so once you have your Tumblr item saved right here, I have mine. This is the one I'm gonna add into this image here. What you go ahead and do is you click and drag this separately into Photoshop. All right, so if you press space bar, it'll go ahead and show you how the GIF is gonna playback in real time. The 0 0.07 here in the bottom left, this is actually the amount of time the image is on the screen. This is the frame time. So this is 0 0.0 seconds for each image. And this sort of gives a smooth effect here, okay? Okay, so the easiest way that I found you can do this is go ahead, go into your original file here, click image, image size. Remember these dimensions, so 21.319, I'm just gonna copy this and then 26.625. I'll copy this top one, so I just have to remember the bottom one, 26.625. Go to your Tumblr image one more time and go to image canvas size and re-input the sizes that you had just looked at. So that one and that was 26.625. So this is the canvas that is exactly the same as this one, as your actual image where you want to put the GIF on. Go to your GIF layer, and as you notice, you have eight layers. These are each of the frames for this moving animated GIF, right? What you're gonna to wanna to do now is click your layer one here, click all the elements that you have in this Photoshop file, use the move tool or click, or click V, and just drag, hold down shift, and release. And that'll paste them essentially exactly where they were on the other file, or the canvas, sorry. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and drag this to the very bottom so that the entire GIF and all of its elements are on top of your canvas. Now all you need to do is on the first layer, make sure you select all of these frames and move it to wherever you wanna place your GIF on your your, uh, your file here. So I wanna place it kind of here, in this bottom left area. What you can do to add a little bit more flair is I actually have this square image here, which I have a stroke, I believe, on. I'm gonna copy this layer style. And I'm actually gonna add it to all of these layers. So I've just copied and pasted the layer style so that it still has that same stroke that's on this bottom square here. And that just gives it a little bit more continuity. And then once again, maybe just nudge it over a little bit more so it fits better. Cool. Now you press space bar and it plays through. And there you have it. You have your animated GIF on top of your Photoshop file, your beautiful collage or whatever you've made. And that's it. That's sort of the gist of it. What you can go ahead and do now is what you're gonna do is go to File, Export, Save for Web. 
And essentially what you're gonna do now is you're gonna save this animated GIF separately as a separate GIF, right? So don't really touch any of this. Make sure this is adaptive and just click save. And I'll just go ahead and save this to my downloads. I'll just rename this uh, test GIF. And that's it, that'll export your GIF. What you wanna go ahead and do now to make sure this is playable on, for instance, Instagram, in a web browser, just type in GIF to MP4. And I like this Cloud Convert website. I'll link this below. Go ahead and select the file that you have just created, this test GIF, test GIF and convert to MP4. Press convert. And then finally just click download. And then I'll download it to your downloads folder. What you can do now is go ahead and right click airdrop this to your iPhone. And then it's only gonna be one playthrough. What you're gonna wanna do is go into either iMovie or whatever app of your choice and just duplicate that layer or that video. So that's a loop and you can go ahead and add music and such and make it a full loop just like this. Are you? So yeah, that was a quick tutorial to show you exactly how to take a GIF, add it onto a Photoshop or photo file, make it a loop, add some music if you want later, and make a cool little post that you can post on your Instagram or your story or wherever you want. Once again, if you like this video, please go ahead and click subscribe, like, comment, please share, and finally, also follow me on Instagram. It's at GakuYen where I post daily reels, photos, videos, you name it. Uh, my life here in Japan and photography tips. And that's it. Stay tuned to my channel for more videos weekly. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.